Station Q102. What's up, I'm Baden, hanging out with the Pretty Reckless. What's up, dudes? Not much, man. How you doing? Oh, dude. Good, good. Just uh, chilling, drinking. It's Rocklahoma. Hell yeah. Rock Just heard your set. Hey, cheers. Thank you. <laughs> cheers. Just heard your set. And I was fangirling from over here because I, I just freaking love your band. First Thank of all, that's, you. that's, that's, it's amazing. Um, Kit, it's funny. I sent my wife up there with the photo pass, and she said her lens was too big. And it was like uh, 18 to 15. They all say that. Yeah. <laughs> See, my lens is big. She used my camera. Of course. My lens is big. It's big. <laughs> so, I was uh, wanting to... You, you guys have talked about this new album so much, I'm sure. You know, it's, you do this all the time. But I can't stress enough how fucking badass this new album is. Thank you, brother. Like, I I did not know what to expect. I knew from uh, Light Me Up to uh, Follow Me Down, right? Title. So, go down. Go, go, go yeah. yeah. And then and then this one. It's been kind of like this, almost like purifying in a way. It's, I feel like there's less um, less effects and studio involved. It's more yeah. it's more real rock and roll, like. Yeah, that's that's accurate. Yeah. On this record, we very much tried to strip it down to a band playing, catching the vibe of the band and the, the players involved, catching that personality, catching you know all tracking together, making it a real rock record that uh, we feel sometimes is missing in rock and roll these days. It's too many studio tricks. Too, it's too uh, too much of a. Uh, it's too easy to make things perfect. Right. And see, like, okay, let me. I have to guess. On I have to guess on a guitar amp. Um, Marshall, it's like, is it, it just sounds like it just sounds like the growl, you know? Like, a, lo a lot of that record was actually, there's a bunch of, bunch of uh, amps on there, but a lot right. of it was the wizard. The what? Uh, a wizard amplification. Oh! Uh, Cornwall, Ontario, it's a, a really badass amplifier. It's what Ben uses live. Uh, it's what I, I use, a, the wizard cabinet from my bass amp. Crazy. It's uh, some a ridiculous, ridiculous uh, gear. That, that tone, though. Yeah. It, I'm gearheading, all right? I know this isn't the typical, you know, interview, but I'm, I'm going to gearhead because I've been wanting to ask these questions since I listen to all these albums. Yeah. So, here we are. Yeah. It's, uh, it's one of those things, you know, the, the wizard amplification uh, stuff is so amazing. It just really, it takes what you have and just opens it all up wide. It's just amazing stuff. Uh, Rick St. Pierre is the guy who was behind it. Uh, he was with uh, ACDC for years. Oh, yeah. Their amp, uh, amp guru. Uh, just incredible stuff. Um, so it's uh, definitely something you should check out. <laughs> He's, he wrote a sign. <laughs> Gear Geeks. Gear Geeks. It's co it's okay. Just saying. Yeah. No, it's okay. Hey, it's true. It's it's true. You true. can also write Tone Junkies. <laughs> yup. <There>. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yup. So um, I have very, like, I'm not... I'm not, a, I'm not the hipster to the point where I buy vinyls of everything. I only buy vinyls and records that deserve it, and I bought your vinyl. Oh. Uh, thank you, you brother. Like, thank no, because... Thank you. Seriously, like, in today's in today's genre of music, you, like, you, like you said, all the all the tricks, all the things going on, you know, and granted, it still wasn't easy to make the album, I know, yeah. but... Sure. <laughs> yeah. right. You can say that again. Yeah. <laughs> But you think about think about the records that we love. Yes. You know, like the the old you know the Zeppelin records. They weren't using Pro Tools. No. Nope. The Stones. They were doing their same. It's like oh, real, the, the real, Beatles. Like, yeah. Hell, the Beatles had what four tracks to start. I mean. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. It, yeah. See, and it, it's hard for me to do like a radio interview for this because I'm listening to you like on a like on a musician to musician level, and I'm a, I'm also a recording engineer and stuff like that. So. I'm, I'm listening to this record and I just I like I just feel it. I don't know how to describe that, man. It's well, that's great that it came across. That's really what we we're trying to to capture. We're trying to capture the band playing these songs at that moment and really capturing an album of that moment in time of this band. Right. We we're trying to make it feel human. Yes, yeah, and we it definitely it. did. Like yeah. it felt like you were right there with us. Now, um, is it a concept? Because it kind of felt like that if. The, the lyrics kind of feel like a concept, almost like the whole thing of like giving yourself to rock and roll, going going down. Like uh, it was an unintentional concept, I would say. Like it really wasn't approached. Yeah. This album was sort of almost hodgepodge together from the songs that Ben and Taylor had written t over 20 songs for this album. Yeah, it seems like it, a direct continuation from Going to Hell. Like yeah. if there was yeah. a good, if there was a timeline. 
of these albums. I mean, that, that was a perfect follow-up to all of these. Like, yeah. it's, it's, all of it's a progression. I mean, yes. as I said, we're we're always pushing each other musically, personally, as well as a band to progress and get better and you know really refine the art and, and try to you know create great art. And that's where we our focus is all about music. It's not about the marketing or all that bullshit. Right. It's about putting out great art. And if you want to listen to it, great. If you want to listen to it, that's fine. But putting it out and really something that we're proud of and that we feel is real and, and has something to say. And we're also very conscious of it being an album and uh, yeah, listening to it the start Whoa. to finish. Yes. And like yeah. we really want it to be an experience sort of in and of itself. And that okay. conscious was was recognized because like from start to finish, like the first the very first song of the album, I felt almost like a little tool. Have you heard that before? Like it almost sounded kinda yeah. like, I haven't heard that before. Isn't yeah, that's a new one. That's yeah. a new one. It it, it made I'll take it. It made me yeah. Yeah, it made me think <laughs> yeah. of tool. I'm like, wow, oh this is cool. And then the next one, you know, you've got this southern straight up just yeah, it's a fucking attitude. That's what it is. It's rock and roll. That's a rock album. A real rock album in twenty seventeen. That, that was the hope. That, that was the uh, that was the accomplishment in my book. Thank you, brother. So, uh, let me play a game with you guys. Uh, I've, I've been oh doing shit. this. Oh if, yeah. If you want ball back, hold <laughs> on. It's right here. No ball is a cheap trick. You'll you'll understand why. Right. Balls. Yes. Balls. At the Z. Balls. All right. So we'll put this up. <laughs> guys, pick a card. <laughs> After you, sir. And don't don't After show me the card. <laughs> don't show me the card. Sure, I'm gonna grab this random one right here. <laughs> All right. So, okay. when's the last time you guys played with Play-Doh? <laughs> Truthfully, it's been a long time. A couple months ago. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got kids? Play-Doh's awesome. Uh, listen, listen. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do? I see where this is going. Yeah, I see yeah. where this is going. We're gonna have 60 seconds. Right. To make whatever on your card. Right. I'll draw a card too. Can we open it first? first? Yes, we'll open it right. and we'll get set up first. But first, yeah. show show the camera your card. I'm not gonna look because Because I got called out by Johnson Skillet earlier. He's like, you're cheating. Happen, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll get this out and we'll get it ready. I, I'm gonna say this is the absolute wrong color for what I got. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> I tried to be relevant, All okay? Right. All right. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah. It's been a long time. All right. All right. It still feels awesome. I tried to eat this earlier. Did you know that this is super salty? salty. Yeah. It's salty, yeah. I, I, in fact, I do. Yeah. <laughs> Don't ask why. Right. I figured it'd be cool to like, like put it on a steak and it would be just fine. It's non-toxic. The guy pointed it out oh, to me. They tell you it's not toxic. Yeah. I mean, you never know this anymore. This can't be good for you. Right. Cigarettes started out being fine for you too. Oh crap, what is that drawing? Or uh, writing, or making, that's what. Oh, that's right, all right. All right, you ready to start the timer? Yeah. All right, oh, have we not started yet? Sorry? Count us, count us down. Oh, it's my wife, she has no patience. I'm not going near that with a 10 foot pole. Right. done here, you're going to guess what I made, and I'm going to guess what you made. Or at least attempt. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. I left nut. I'm done. Shit. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, I'm done too. Alright. Oh, it's obviously a mouse. No, it's oh, yeah! It looks like a mouse. Yeah, that's cool. An egg? Yes. Yay! Uh, um, lips. And then I did it. I did a little stones. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Dude, that was good. See, Shazam. Yeah, they're, they're true artists. They can actually. Three like, eggs and ham. Yes. And uh, Play-Doh. Let's keep this right. All right, man. 
We're gonna we're gonna go. This is uh, Baden with the prerequisite. Guys, thank you so nice much for the interview. Thanks, man. Thank you, guys.